Hi Stampers, this is Travis. Today is Video Tuesday and so for YouTube we are going to be making a Christmas card. I am going to be using a really non-Christmas set. It's called Wisteria Wishes but if you turn the Wisteria upside down tell me those don't look like Christmas trees. Yes they do and there's dies to cut them out which is awesome. So we have the matching dies. I'm also going to be using another stamp set, Trees for Sale. So this is in the mini catalog, and this is a Christmas set. I just love the sayings in this stamp set. So Christmas greetings, so very merry. Yeah, they're adorable. Um, so I'm going to get started and make a card, and then I'm going to tell you where I got my idea. Okay? Okay, so I hope I have everything here that I need. Okay, I have a piece of soft succulent. This is going to be my card base. So I'm going to fold this in half. So this is five and a half by eight and a half. All right, and then I have cut another piece that's five by three and three fourths, and that's going to layer on top. Before I layer it, I'm going to do a little stamping on it. And I am going to stamp my greeting. I think I'm going to use this Christmas greetings. Yeah. Christmas greetings. And I'm going to do that in evening evergreen. Okay, so it'll be one shade darker. So this is the in colors, right? Soft succulent and evening evergreen are the five um, the five um, in colors that are going to be going away at the end of this year. I'm sad because I love soft succulent. Okay, so I'm going to start out. I'm going to just stamp this one like about right here. Oh, and that's a little bit crazy, crooked. Hang on a second. I don't think I have that lined up properly on my block. But luckily, I have another side. So sometimes with photopolymer stamps, you need to lay them out and then just attach them to your block that way. So you don't get that arch or you don't get a, a weird, see, not straight. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp this a few times. Different. Um, sometimes going off the page. That is so cute. Let's see, I'm trying to see, should this one be over maybe? Yeah, I think I'm gonna make this one even over here further. Oh, look at that. I didn't do my C all the way, but I think it's gonna get covered up anyway with my Christmas trees. Okay, so we have that done. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pop this up with some dimensionals. Okay, so I have some dimensionals here use up these little pieces okay, so I'm just gonna only did five I probably could have done a couple more but I think this will work Center that. All right, looking good. Now, what I want to do is I want to stamp the wisteria and I'm going to stamp the make Christmas trees out of them. And I need a little piece of soft succulent scrap. Stamp those in Evening Evergreen also. Now see, tell me that doesn't look like Christmas trees. Yes, it does. 
Okay, so always stamp off your stamp before you clean it because there's no point in taking all that ink to your either your scrub or your chamois. Okay, so I think I'm done stamping now. So I have my mini right here. I could fussy cut, but heck, I got a die, so I'm just going to die cut. Oops, wrong guys. I'm going to die cut this. This stamp set is just amazing. So if you want to use it as wisteria, you have this branch, right? And the branch has this so that it looks like the wisteria is hanging from the branch. It also has some really nice sayings. Um, Faith is about trusting. Happiness grows within. I mean, it's just a beautiful stamp set. And then also you have these so you can um, flip these over and have the wisteria on top of the stamp. Um, stems yes and then you have this little one so it's a great stamp set okay enough chatter okay and this is something weird my little plate cracked and I think it's because I've never had that happen before I think it's because this one is so warped that it the pressure made that I think I don't know cracked my top plate but it still works so hey I'm using it So with the mini, you kind of need to start one of the plates before the other one. So see how I have this layered? So otherwise, sometimes it's hard to get them to go through. So you want to kind of stagger them. That makes, well, that's the word I was looking for. Stagger them. Okay. I'm cutting. I did one other thing, but I already did that for you, so... Look at those cute Christmas trees. Okay, so put this away. You also get another cool die, and it's this one. Makes a very cool edge. So that comes with those dies. So you actually get eight dies that coordinate with Wisteria Wishes. And you can per still purchase them as a bundle. Okay, so I am going to pop these up also. Use these minis. Okay, now before I put this down, I got out my painted label dies and I cut out a gold out of the gold foil. I cut out this die. And I love this die. Let me show it to you. I did put some adhesive on the back because it's Sometimes it's a little hard to um, glue down. And especially if you're using foil, sometimes if you over glue, if you're a little overzealous with the glue, um, it will squeeze out onto your foil and then, oof, it's very ugly. Doesn't really work for me, okay? All right. So now I have this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down on my card. And then I'm going to show you where I got this idea from. That was the thing I wanted to show you. So I was peeling off the back because I did the... Ahead of time, I um, put um, adhesive sheets on the back. Okay. So I don't want to cover up everything I did here, but I'm going to move this about right there. Okay. And then I have some ribbon. And I have this soft succulent ribbon. I think I'm just going to use that. I was thinking about using the gold ribbon, but I think the soft succulent will actually look better. So, yes, thinking so. So I'm going to put a little adhesive down. And I'm going to just take a little piece here and fold it over, kind of like that. I think that will hold fine. Okay, and then I'm going to peel this off. And I have another idea, and I see if it, wor if it works, I'll use it. I'm not sure how it's going to work, though. I kind of want to use these jingle bells. We have these flat jingle bell trinkets from the uh, mini catalog. 
and I really haven't used them. trim this down a little bit more so that the ribbon's not so long. Yes. Okay. It's almost looking monochromatic except for the gold. Okay, so I have these mini, I love these, these uh, flat trinkets. And I'm kind of thinking they would look good on here. A couple of these. But how would I attach them? I have my um, twine, my ba little baker's twine here. I'm trying to think of a way that I could attach these. Or I could just attach these together, like two of them together. Let's try this. Just attach these together like this. Okay. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. And I just won't use it. But if it works, it's going to be cute. Okay, so I'm just going to tie a knot. And keep them together. Trim this down a little bit. Could have made a bow, but I don't really need to. Oh, look how cute that is. So I could put mini glue drop, little mini glue dot, bleh, can't say it, mini glue dots on the back of each one just to hold them in place. So they kind of look like they're hanging, but they really aren't. <laughs> Let's see how this works. Don't touch together, they'll stick together. Okay, let's see how this will work. It'll work. Let me pull that loose. Oh. Didn't want to pull that through, but it will. There we go. Oop, I don't know if my knot oh, it won't go through. Okay, well, we'll just go like that then. What do you think? I think I should leave them on there. I could tuck that underneath. Ah, there we go. Oh, there. That looks better. Oh, that's cute. Okay, I don't think it needs anything else. I think it's, um, the trees are a little crooked. Didn't really have my trees um, standing very well. Oh, Travis. Sometimes it's better to just go with it. Okay. All right. Where did I get this idea? Well, if you're like me and you save your old catalogs, okay, go back and look at this catalog. Handmade for you. October, August to, I'm sorry, August to December 2020 mini catalog. And I was looking through some old catalogs and I saw this card right? And it's showing this as a, we used to have these gold rings, okay? We don't have those anymore. They're retired. We don't have these acorns either, but I decided to make a Christmas card and instead of a thinking of you card, and so I made this one, okay? So don't throw your old catalogs away. They're great idea books. So hope you enjoyed this video today, and I will see you on Friday. Thanks for watching. Bye.